Another area that's been significantly enhanced over the original Imposca is with the arpeggiator. Now in this instance, I'm just playing an F major triad chord. And nice enough though that is, we're going to arpeggiate it. Now we have the normal functions exactly as the original Imposca. We can go up, we can go down, we can go up and down. So let's just go back to up. Now we also have the ability to add an octave below and an octave above, as well as two octaves above. So let's just go for an octave below. The octave above the original. And with the octave order, we can set how the octaves play as well as the order of the notes. So we have notes playing up, but let's have the octave order down. And now up and down. And if we want, we can add two octaves above the original. Let's just go back to up for the purposes of this exercise because there's also a pitch and a play mode. Now a normal pitch mode is just like a normal arpeggiator where the arpeggiations take place in accordance with the pitch. However, there's a play mode. And with this selected, you can change the order of the arpeggiations in relation to which notes are played in which order. So for example, with our F triad chord, let's play the A first. Secondly, the F. And we can hear that the A plays first, followed by the F. And finally, the C. And if we change that to pitch mode, it will play in the order of F, A, C. And back to play mode. Now obviously we can combine this with note orders, up, down, random, etc, up and down, and then also octave order. So let's have something slightly more chaotic. Let's have octave order in terms of up and down, and then note order as down, but also in play mode. And again, I'm going to start with my A, then the F, and finally the C. And then we'll introduce a random note order. And finally, a random octave order. second octave above and the first octave above and finally the octave below. <laughs> 